Houston. This week's Brick and Mortar, we're going to show you when Abby and I took a road trip to find a little place that's tucked deep back in the woods outside of Ava. That's right. It's called Crazy Joe's Fish House. But as we found out, they have a lot more than just fish. Well, we've made it outside of the dining area, but where you order your food is a little bit different there. It's just right across from it. You can't miss it when you walk in. We're with owner here, Bob Martin of Crazy Joe's. It's Crazy Joe's Fish. Tell me the whole name real quick. It's Crazy Joe's Fish House Incorporated. Yes. All right, because we went back and forth on the drive here. We was going back and forth on the exact name of it and how we were going to say it. But you take a look here behind me. You guys have quite the menu here. I mean, you're just not limited to fish. No, we have a... I have a smokehouse. We have smoked brisket sandwiches and barbecue uh, sandwiches. I got a Bob sandwiches, barbecue, onion ring, and bacon on an Hawaiian bun. That's one of my specialties we really like here. Of course, we have all the fish that you can think of here. We have Alaskan whitefish and catfish strips, mm. whole catfish, and we have bluegill. And we also have a shrimp, a lot of shrimp uh, on the menu here. We have coconut and butterfly shrimp, uh, cheese stuffed shrimp, jalapeno stuffed shrimp. We also have a grill, oh. grilled shrimp, grilled shrimp and a shrimp skewer. So just basically about any kind of shrimp you can think of, you guys have it. The one thing I got to know about though, what is Crazy Joe's fries? Crazy Joe's french fries are a homemade uh, potato chip that we take a russet potato and make chips out of it. And we put our own special seasoning on it and deep fry it lightly. And, it's, and it, people really like our Joe fries. And we have a regular crinkle cut French fry in case they didn't want a chip, they could have a regular French fry also. All right, we've talked a lot about the food, but that's not all you guys offer. You also have a cabin here. We do, I have a cabin that's on Airbnb. It's a 15 by 36 with a six foot porch. It's fully uh, stocked, has a washer and a dryer and a dishwasher, uh, TVs and uh, VCRs and all kind of games in it, all kind of fully equipped to cook glasses and pots and pans and everything that you would need. Well, the other thing I want to ask you about also inside the dining area is the bar. It's really neat. It's just really neat to look at and there's a lot more to it than what you see. Well, the, the original bar, when I first originally bought the place in 2007, it just had potato sacks underneath it where the, the, they put stored stuff back there. And uh, my brother-in-law, when he comes to visit me, I'll visit me, I always put him to work and he helped build that bar. He uh, hand sketched uh, uh, artist piece of artistry work that I wish I'd have kept and said, does that look good? And we went to building <laughs> it and it, it really turned out really nice. I really like the bar. It's, it's special to me because he built it. Well, I noticed too you guys sell some local beers there as well. We do. We have Kincaid Brewing Company in Murfreesboro. We have like four different types of beers. They're in 22 ounce bottles and I have a 12 ounce bottle, blue, uh, bottle of blueberry uh, blonde, they call it. It's really good. Uh, Chuck there at uh, Kincaid Brewing Company, he's got a couple cabins there also. And uh, we had some people come from Chicago and I got to talking to him. I said, what are you doing here? He said, we're here fishing. I said, no. I said, we're staying at uh, cabins there at the Kincaid Brewing Company. I said, that's crazy because I've got one here now too. Wow, that's incredible. I'll tell you what, I appreciate you showing us all around here. And I'm going to tell you what, we're going to have to come back and check this place out when it is live and happening. Guys, we're here early in the morning, so hopefully we'll be able to make it back soon and try some of the food ourselves. And also, we'll have this up on our website a little later on at WSILTV.com. You know, since then, I have went there and tried out the food since we went and shot mm -hmm. that. And my wife had the, she had catfish and uh, fries. And I got the grilled shrimp and the Crazy Joe fries. And it was all delicious. And the thing I didn't expect was they have the Crazy Joe's sauce. It's kind of a cocktail sauce, ketchup mix. It's got a little kick to it. Okay. But the thing that shocked me that it was so good, I was telling Nick about this, the buffalo cauliflower bites. Oh, so good. you got to order them. Got to order them. Gonna have to go go there for sure. I mean, the place was really nice. Even seeing the the little cabin, yeah, very nice. If you want to get away, that is such a nice place. No, it was very very neat, very it, neat. Place. I like I liked it. I liked it a lot. And and also, it's important to note that right now, they're only taking cash. But of course, right. of course, they're probably closed at the moment anyway. I mean, yeah. Dave and I were able to go to restaurants with our families before everything was right. shut down. So yeah, Bob told me that he's working on getting the credit card machines to be able to run that, and he was hoping to have that soon within the next week or two.